I titled this video my honest truth about X Mono hair products because that's literally what it is. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys. I'm scared. Hey beautiful. Today is a scary video. I've been wanting to do this video for a while because honestly like everybody gets some mediocre reviews, some bad reviews, great reviews a lot too. You know, let's not ignore that. It's a little nerve wracking like making a video about your reviews that may not be the best. But every brand gets them and you know what? I'm here to just be honest. I'm here to take your opinions and thoughts about my products and make them the best that they can be. I've changed things, I've reformulated things, adjusted many of things in the past years while owning this brand, and that's what I plan to do forever, okay? To make the ultimate hair care and hair color products you can get. So yeah, I'm gonna be watching people bash my um, hair care and hair color brand. I am genuinely excited to hear your constructive feedback. I'm hopefully gonna learn a few things and also maybe help you guys use my products better. All right, let's just go in for it. All right, our first person that is about to give me some constructive criticism is Maria Gloria. Listen, Ex Mondo is my baby, so I will be honest, I might not take this well, but I will try. I actually ordered the conditioner, the shampoo, and the prismatic glow because I know my hair. Thank you for purchasing. I appreciate it. Also, that is the old packaging, which is like nostalgic to look at. We changed that based off your opinions. Y'all want them to stand upside down so that the shampoo would, you know, obviously gravitate towards the bottom and you can easily squeeze it out. So I did it. See this? Now you can go like this. You're welcome. Sometimes it's the simple things. We used to get so many bad reviews because of those old caps and then we changed the caps and everybody's like, these are great. You would be shocked at how many different caps we went through to decide on this one. My hair is very dry. It's fine, but it's quite but it is dry. My hair on its own does not produce a lot of oil. Oh God, I'm screwed. I already feel where this is going. She has dry hair and she's using Project X, which is now named our detox shampoo, which if you have dry hair, I wouldn't recommend. I wasn't about to try this product once and be like, hey, let's make a video, let's talk. No, 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 that's not how we do things here. I really tested these products out. Okay. Does it work? Okay, it works, but and it's a big butt. Is it my favorite shampoo? No, it is not. Mm. Ouch. For my specific hair type, no, this is not my favorite shampoo and conditioner. But as a shampoo and conditioner, is it great? Absolutely it is. Thank you. We take the good with the bad, the bad with the good, the good with the bad. My hair type is dry. My hair type requires extreme hydration, heavy oils, a heavy concentration of hydrating ingredients. And this particular shampoo and conditioner does not give me that. However, I actually really do love this shampoo for what it gives me. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm stopping her there for a second. She's totally right. Honestly, this is my fault. One of the mistakes, if you want to call it that, I made was calling this an everyday shampoo and conditioner. And that's the one that she has in this video. We since rebranded to the detox shampoo and the weightless conditioner. For me, like an everyday shampoo is made for somebody who has normal hair. Their hair is maybe not oily or not dry, kind of in between, or their hair is oily. Like an everyday shampoo to me always meant like that is your general, that is your, your base that is like your starting shampoo, okay? And then you kind of build the line off of that from my experience in like the professional world. But then I realized after releasing it that not everybody understood that. So that is why it is now called the detox shampoo. And there are a lot of detoxifying properties in this shampoo. So it all just made sense. It all came together. We reworded everything on the packaging, did a lot better with the marketing of this product. And thankfully nobody is confused anymore. And everybody seems to be getting the right product for their right hair. Thank God. And the reviews have gone way the fuck up since I fucked up. What I love this shampoo and conditioner for is because it is a very cleansing shampoo and gentle on the hair. I actually really like this. Every time I use it, it leaves my hair very soft. It is a stripping shampoo for me in the sense of it strips it of, of all its dirt, all the grime, everything that I put in my hair. Also all the pollution, all the dirt that your hair just collectively gets when you're living your life. This is a really good clarifying shampoo and I love this shampoo for that reason because it does clean very well it's not stripping and it doesn't leave a greasy residue well thank you um you predict the future you were like this is great as a detoxifying clarifying shampoo yeah you're right and i was wrong i should have done better but you know what we live and we learn and i did learn the other qualm i do have with this conditioner is that it does have alcohol as its second ingredient meaning it has a high concentration of alcohol it's not denatured alcohol it's not the very drying alcohol and again, like I said, I'm 
I'm not a chemist. I don't know why they put a lot of alcohol in it, but I'm sure there's a reason why. When you see the word alcohol in products, it's not always alcohol. Like it's not literally rubbing alcohol. That is such a common like misconception when it comes to hair care. We get this question all the time. And like, why is there so much alcohol in the product? Cetyl alcohol, spelled like this, is not actually like rubbing alcohol. Uh, cetyl alcohol is specifically known for its moisturizing properties. So literally the complete opposite of what you think alcohol is, it's a moisturizing property. Um, and that is why it's put in conditioner and that is why it's the second ingredient in my conditioner. It can help smooth and seal the cuticle of the hair, leaving it really soft and smooth. It is not like rubbing alcohol and it is not drying. If you can make a more hydrating shampoo and conditioner, Brad Mondo, please do. But also Hydroglow. I think I sent you Hydroglow actually. Hopefully you liked that a lot better. That is very moisturizing and will not leave a greasy film on your hair. So thank you for your review. And I already took your feedback and I already changed everything basically you said. So I'm glad uh, we were seeing eye to eye on that one. And uh, thanks for your honest truth. I appreciate it. Let's get a hair color review in here, shall we? This is by Kayla Claus. On this side of my hair, I dyed it with super orange which looks like this. And then on this side of my hair, I dyed it with the super pink, which looks like this. Ooh. It was so majestic and beautiful. I will say the super orange color is a beautiful, perfect orange. Holy sh that's the prettiest color ever. What's the downside? What, what are we gonna talk about? Um, but I find that this is like your perfect pumpkin orange, maybe a little bit darker than pumpkin, but not by much. So yeah, obsessed with this color. For me personally, the super pink on the other hand is a little bit more of a warm toned pink. And I don't love that on myself personally. I think because my hair is so warm toned, I feel like I need a cool tone to kind of cancel that out. When it's orange, it's different because it almost like melds with the color. But when it's the pink, it can make some parts so warm that they look more peachy. That makes total sense. And I'm totally with her on that. I mean, besides the fact that like super pink, I would say is a very neutral pink. Like all of our super colors are supposed to be like true to tone. Like if it's orange, it's orange. If it's yellow, it is a yellow, 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 like primary yellow. When it comes to the pink, it is definitely in the middle of cool and warm pink. So if you're putting this over very um, warm tone blonde, you're definitely gonna get a warmer pink. If you're putting this over more cool toned hair, you're gonna get a more cool tone pink. And if you're putting over something neutral, you're gonna get a neutral pink. Because her hair is super warm to start, yes, she's gonna definitely see a more warm pink result. So she's definitely accurate in saying it was probably warmer on her hair. I found that the pink side faded more unevenly than the orange side and kind of the more I wash my hair, you'll kind of see that continuing. This is after washing it several times and she's kind of talking about what she doesn't like about the fading. Roots don't want to stay blonde. You can see it's faded a ton. I I think her hair looks gorgeous, but she definitely didn't start off with one color. So you're always gonna see your hair fade differently in different parts of your hair if you're starting off with like a balayage or highlighted color. Depending on how many times each piece of your hair has been highlighted, that's gonna make your hair more porous. Um, so if you have natural roots growing in like she does, that part is probably gonna fade off the fastest because that is her natural hair and it is the least porous and it's probably gonna grab that color the least out of everything on her head. And then those lighter pieces are also gonna fade fast because they're very porous and very, very porous hair tends to uh, release color molecules faster than the rest of the hair. And then the stuff that is like just in between like a normal porosity or maybe a little bit dry is gonna latch onto that color a lot more. That's just how color works, especially with semi-permanent color um, or color that just lays on top of the hair. If your hair is extremely damaged and porous, it might release faster. Also, if your hair is extremely healthy and um, you know, you've never touched with color, it might fade faster as well. So that's why she's seeing kind of a variation of fading throughout her head. It is normal. And unfortunately, that's just how color works. And it, honestly, if it didn't fade, I feel like people would be mad about that too. So I don't know. And you know, it would be one thing if like both sides of my hair were doing this, but I feel like the orange side is holding up really nice and the pink side is just looking a little <laughs> like, look at this bang situation here. So she loves the orange side and that's totally to be expected because she already had those warm tones in her hair. So it is fading perfectly. She's not seeing any sort of discoloration or parts of her hair lightening and other parts not lightening from washing. If you put warm colors over warm hair, you're gonna get amazing fading. And if you put cool tones over cool toned hair, you're gonna get beautiful fading as well. If, 
gets a little weird when you start putting cool tone colors over warm hair. And that's always a thing when people do like gray hair, a lot of people will put it over like orange or yellow hair and then they'll kind of wonder why it looks a little mucky. Um, that's because there's a lot of blue in a gray color and when you put it over yellow, it kind of turns into like mud. So, you know, that's just another color theory thing. The bangs might be a little bit lighter because obviously when I'm washing like my hair, I'm already at the front here. So I get into the bangs a little bit more, but the pink side is a disaster like oh. as you can see it's pretty patchy on the top layer if i pull the top layer back though like my underneath layers look like not bad except for the ends the ends look sus like look at this you can actually notice where the lighter parts of her hair are and those like fringe moment there's like a lighter piece going down around her face that part is lightening up the most out of everything on the pink side the fastest i do think her hair looks beautiful i think you know that's just the nature of semi-permanent color i'm sad that your uh x model color fading experience wasn't up to par. There's so many factors when it comes to hair color and uh, we don't always get the most perfect result. But I'm also so happy that she loved the color because it looked incredible when she started. And also I think the fading looks beautiful and I think she looks amazing in this color combo and I think she should keep it. Is that just me? <laughs> okay, this next video is by Melinda and this is called X Mondo Wave Tech Review and why I hate it. LOL, sorry Brad, don't hate me. We'll have to see. I'm feeling mentally unstable right now, so I might hate you after this. I'm just playing. I want to hate you. Give me a good review next time. No, I'm just kidding. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the X Mondo Wave Tech. The first thing I'll say is my initial reaction when seeing people apply this to their hair in their TikTok videos was that they were using so much product. Right off the bat, I wasn't that excited to try this because I was like, oh my gosh, if I have to use a ton of product every time I use this product, I'm gonna fly through this bottle and that didn't make me that excited like I was literally seeing girls using like six to seven pumps on like half of their head yes okay so with wave tech I mean it's a foam so it's gonna look like you're putting a ton of product on but the bottle lasts you a really long time but yeah you the more the merrier with wave tech I mean it's like you can really douse your hair in it and it, I, I, I use so much of it when I'm doing wavy or curly hair so yeah it looks a little intimidating I will say when you're like pumping like so much and you're putting so much in your hair, but it's great. It works great. Brad apparently said that it should feel like you have shampoo in your hair. That's gross to me. <laughs> I'm being honest. <laughs> I want to like put some of this on this side. <laughs> she hates this. It did soak up into my hair though. As you can see, there's no more like white product just sitting on top. Oh gosh, am I really supposed to use that much product, dude? Like, so I, ha I did about four pumps that time. Oh God. The foam aspect of the product actually helps form the wave pattern. So I enjoy it. And um, yeah, I don't know. The shampoo feeling doesn't bother me and it goes away. It sort of evaporates into your hair. I'm only doing three pumps on this side. Oh, I just feel like I'm using so much product. It's crazy. You're not gonna feel it though. It's gonna be fine. I will say it does feel like my curls are like really holding though. Mm -hmm. It, but they feel like not stiff. My hair doesn't feel like loose and floppy and like I can definitely tell that there's a product in my hair That's like giving it some hold and I do feel like my curls are gonna be able to like really hold themselves up That's the coolest part like right when you put wave tech in your hair You can actually feel like the waves forming and it kind of clumps together your curls and your waves in like a very pretty way Like even before it's dry. This is kind of a hard cast to scrunch out like <laughs> The pieces are just like going right through my fingers. I just need to do it like this. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe I applied too much product, which I did not think it was possible. It does not feel good at my roots. I can just feel like these stiff chunks of like curl clumps just won't break up. And I do feel like I'm getting a little bit of a film on my hands too. I'm gonna be honest. And um, I mean, if you know anybody who has wave tech, they can probably tell you too. I have never seen anybody's hair look like that after using wave tech. I think she might've ever done it. Maybe we can decrease that a few notches next time. I will say that my hair looks like very smooth, very like shiny. My hair feels very soft. It also looks very soft. I have like almost no no frizz, which is crazy. Long story short, she tried it a bunch of different ways. Wasn't quite getting the hang of it. Wasn't really understanding the product. Maybe this is the one today that I really just don't know the reason. Um, I don't know everything. I'm very saddened that that didn't work out for you, but uh, I don't know why. Um, it seems like maybe it was too much product usage. Definitely decreasing the amount of product you're using, as well as maybe trying like salty sea salt spray. It's a little bit lighter. It's great for people with like just very loose wavy texture like you. But she made a follow-up video and apparently she figured out why. 
it's not working. You guys, I am like so excited with how my hair looks. I did not know my hair could look this good. I'm actually shook. Okay, what the fuck happened? <laughs> Does she like it now? What? You saw like two videos ago. Um, I like really shat on this product. So this is the X Mondo Wave Tech. I tried styling this on wet hair like I do my normal wash day routine and I absolutely hated it. But one of you guys commented that you like using this to refresh your hair. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it a try. So basically what I did was I took three pumps of this and I rubbed it between my hands and I literally split my hair down the middle and I just smoothed it. Like I took half of it and did it on the top and then half on the bottom and I literally just glazed it over my hair very gently. I am like obsessed with my results. Okay, so she learned a different technique on how to use Wave Tech and she's living for it. Thank God, because that is like, I believe in that product more than anything and um, so do like so many of you. So I'm glad she figured it out. I have never refreshed my hair with a foam before and I really love just like how bouncy and weightless my hair feels. Like my hair is thick and it's very coarse. So normally my curl clumps like really stick together and my hair is like, it's just not bouncy at all. It's, it feels very heavy. All right, all right, enough. We heard it. Your hair is bouncy and weightless. You're supposed to be shitting on me right now. This is, this is about people bashing me. We can't go too much into the positive today, but I'm glad you you like it so much. All right, this video is by Stellacini and uh, yeah, we're gonna see her use X Mono Color. And uh, she has something to say. Anyways, this is the color. I haven't looked inside and now I'm kind of, what is this? Why do they keep not matching? Why don't you match? It's not an ugly color. It's just, it's not what's on here. This is such a unique color. This is so not. Oh. oh. <laughs> Slate gray. Oh, 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 yes. Wow. As you can see, the beautiful, beautiful color release. They just don't necessarily match the packaging that is outside. So this here is slate gray. That is the color of the container. And then inside, what the hell is that? This is the result you're gonna get on pale yellow hair. This is not what you're gonna get, okay? Don't go based off of this. Go based off of this on the outside. And actually a little fun fact, in order to make these labels, we actually have a book of like tons of different printed out colors, laminated it to the exact same finish as this. And what we do is we color swatches, we color people's hair, we match it up to the actual book, and we pick the color based off what the actual result of the hair looks like. So what you get inside of this product is not gonna match exactly to the outside of the product. You will get the, the exact same result as this if you have pale yellow hair to start. And honestly, the rest of her video is very sweet and she loved the color. She's applying it actually on a very dark hair and she got incredible results. Oh my God, wow. So this is the hair color that I ended up with. I was not expecting a complete color change. I'm gonna be blatantly honest. The color looks beautiful. I'm glad we got that little glitch sorted out there. Thank you, Stella, for always being amazing and reviewing my products, and I appreciate you a lot. Well, I will not be doing that again for a long time. I'm just kidding. It was honestly great to hear your opinions and, you know, just always trying to make things better here and accommodate to all of you. So that way, every time you use my hair products or my hair color products, you feel confident to live your extra motherfucking Life. And that is always my goal, baby, to create products that evoke confidence. I appreciate all of you making your reviews. I always love watching your reviews. That is the most exciting thing about making a product is seeing people purchase it and actually try it out. Cause it all seems kind of make believe until a real person that I do not know uses the product and actually gives an honest review. It is the most incredible part of making products, I would say. Especially when the review is very positive. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Ruby. And she says, what color and what hairstyle will suit me best? I am getting a whole vision. I'm getting a soft, nice, cute fringe on you. Maybe like right on your eyebrow. Um, shorter hair, like right above the shoulders and blonde. Platinum, blonde, or even like a lavender would look incredible on you. If you end up doing it, I would love to see a photo and good luck. If you'd like to follow me anywhere else or check out any of my hair care products, everything is listed right below here on my social media handles as well as X Mondo's or go to xmondohair.com. And that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, my God.